I am at the Paperless Parts booth with Jason Ray, founder and CEO. Jason, give us a brief intro to yourself. Hi, Jim. My name is Jason Ray. I'm one of the co-founders, CEO at Paperless Parts. My background is United States Navy. Spent about seven and a half years on active duty uh, before starting Paperless Parts. A couple of awesome co-founders, Scott Sawyer, Jay Jacobs. Um, we built Paperless Parts as a solution for job shops and contract manufacturers, really to tackle the estimating, quoting, collaboration challenges that they face in the front office. Yeah. So we're here at INTS. Amazing show. You see incredible shop floor technology, like next level. And at the same time, you end up with creating an enormous amount of capacity that you need to fill with new work. Now, most jobs start with a quote. That's the true reality of it. Yep. Winning new work, jobs start with quoting. You need to be able to quote more effectively, more efficiently. And so today, what you're going to see when you work with our colleague or one of our founding engineers, Dana Lensberg, he's going to walk you through how we are helping our customers tackle larger and larger RFQ packages. Awesome. So what you're seeing from these large OEMs is instead of 10, 20, 30 items on a quote, we're seeing hundreds. Okay. And that puts a lot of the burden on our customers to go figure out what are the right parts for my shop, for my technology that are going to produce the right amount of profit Absolutely. for me to sustain my business. Yep. So paperless parts is been investing in automation technology that supports the triage process for quoting. And you're going to get to see our new AI technology called Wingman in action today. So I really appreciate it, Jim. Um, and thanks for stopping by here. Thanks. So I'm now with Dana Winsberg, uh, one of the co-founders, right? Or authors of founding technology, engineer, yeah. founding engineer. So Dana is going to walk us through this new Wingman product. Dana, before you do that, Give us a little bit of background on you. How'd you get into this role with Paperless Parts? Yeah, I was recruited by Jason about seven and a half years ago out of college. Um, I met him through my father, and I've been loving life writing code for Paperless Parts ever since. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, so are you? did you know you wanted to get into a manufacturing technology kind of software? What, what direction did you want to go, or is this something new for you? I uh, really fell in love with software and writing code yeah. uh, through a robotics class in college. Okay. Um, and then I had the opportunity to actually work in a job shop called At Arrow in New Britain, Connecticut. Um, and I got my feet wet with manufacturing there. And uh, when this opportunity, which was you know an intersection of my you know, love for software and manufacturing, I, I had to say yes, I jumped on it. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so what are we gonna look at today, Dana? So I'm gonna show you how to set up a quote really, really quick. So I'm gonna start this demo where uh, the RFQ lifecycle starts for most of our customers, which is in an email. So what we've got here is a bunch of part files and some part numbers and quantities specified by a customer. The way you get this into paperless parts is you simply forward it to an address specific to your account. And when that gets sent over, it usually takes between 30 seconds to a minute to draft. Uh, it's going to be looking at the body of the email, parsing out all the attachments, getting everything set up for you to get your quote rocking and rolling really, really quickly. So we can see here, I just got this notification, new email, uh, new quote created from uh, email forwarding. We can see we've automatically set the contact from the email um, in uh, email that I saw there. And here are all of our supporting yeah. files laid out. And you can tell Wingman is going to work when you see anything in purple. So this little sparkle here means that Wingman's going to work for you. All right, I'm going to click this bold create line items, and you can see that we've parsed out the part numbers and quantities directly from the body of this unit. So now the name of the game is getting our line items set up so we can actually start quoting. So by clicking that button, we've got our skeleton set up, more purple. So what does that mean? That means Wingman's going to work for you. Wow. It's recommending uh, assigning files from here to line items. I'm just going to click add to line items. And we give it a sec, and boom, now we've got files associated to a lot of our line items. And furthermore, we can unzip zip files. We can do password protected PDFs within the platform. So you can do all of your file management and organization directly in paperless parts. And we see here we're getting more suggestions to map the files as those files process. Now, our quote looks pretty good. We've got files associated to most of these line items. And now it's time to actually go through and start estimating the parts. So the first thing you want to do is just triage the part. Get a look at the print. Get a look at the geometry and understand what's going on. And we've got an uh, uh, in-house built 3D uh, part viewer that can support any type of file analysis under the sun. You can view the... Uh, 
you know, 3D CAD model, then you can also interact with the 2D drawing. And this is really where Wingman starts to uh, do some cool stuff. So we'll automatically recommend part numbers and revisions based off of finding callouts on the print. Sure. And we'll even find things like material callouts, different mill specs and secondary processes. And when you can really uh, start to see this system sing is you can see comparisons between different prints if you're forwarding an additional revision. We'll even be able to pull out things like control frames and true position tolerances. Wow. And we'll also be able to extract tables directly from PDFs. So you can copy and paste this in and create your bill of materials when you're putting assemblies over your paper. Wow. So from here, what you're going to do is assign a process, which is essentially a template of material requirements and manufacturing steps. And this is going to pull in a whole bunch of information that is operating off of templates that you can configure yourself or with our team during onboarding. And then you just work down your worksheet, router step by router step, leveraging the geometry of the part to help drive automation. Wow. Dana. That is phenomenal. What specifically is that going to do for a manufacturer who might be a small to medium sized shop, right? So what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to prioritize the hours of your most experienced people yeah. who actually need to go through the process planning, coming up with the cycle times for all these parts. It allows them to focus on that. And then you remove all of the clerical administrative work. Paperless parts and wingman covers a huge percentage of that for you. Yeah. Um, also, with geometry-based estimating, we're going to be able to set up a very consistent process that's going to allow you to upscale your front office in a much more repeatable and fast pace. Awesome. Um, ensuring high levels of consistency and those quotes getting out the door as fast as you can. Dana, I really appreciate your time, man. Great demo. Thank you. Have a great day, bud. Thanks.